and as well as global networking. So, historically, I studied in UTM, and I ended with New in Newcastle University for some reason. And I studied this for my PhD. Yeah, this is my main area for my PhD on membrane fouling. I'm not talking about making membrane. I'm talking about what makes membrane does not work. Yeah, so it's a very negative way of approaching issues. Uh, a membrane is used for wa wa uh, filtering water, filtering wastewater as well. Uh, and then after I completed my PhD, I've done a lot of work on biopolymer. This is a summary of what I have in mind. Uh, discuss about that later, and with uh, the importance of ICT in environmental engineering, we managed to develop what we call as respirometer. Uh, I have a few patterns on, on this. So, unlike many of you, those who are involved in academic research, you have no experience in management, especially going for formal education in management. Uh, I had an opportunity to be in Harvard, so at the same time, uh, we learn about latest management uh, strategy, policy, and uh, this is very helpful in my career. Okay, let's talk about uh, water. Uh, this is what I understood when we talk about water sustainability in terms of R&D, and I summarize them in terms of water resources, and these are the technologies that we can uh, incorporate into. Say, for example, we have water resources, and we can use water resources in, in sewer bioreactor as one of the topics, and this is very important. My first PhD student graduated in, in sewer bioreactor uh, simulation and um, engine uh, design. And if you look into water resources, to energy, it must be close to user. It is very difficult to justify, say for example, to transfer water from Ipoh to Kuala Lumpur. Because you have to pump the water out. And pumping the water, you get the water, yes, but you use a lot of energy. Using a lot of energy means you produce a lot of, of carbon. You release a lot of carbon. So at the end of the day, it's not environmental friendly. And the rest, say for example, uh, in governance, in the past, when people talk about environment, the issue of energy was not important. This is a separate, separate issue. I am just water. Uh, Dato Isa uh, still remember when IWA combined with uh, Water Supply, International Water Supply Association, people are, are confused. We are in water supply, and this guy is from Wastewater Group. Yeah? In the past, we have Malaysia Water Association, which is affiliated with Water Supply International Association. So people are confused. We are now talking about clean and, and dirty water. They cannot be the same person. But actually, when we look into that, it is very minute comparing the difference between water and energy. So now people are talking about water and energy as a subject. So, for example, when you talk about treatment, we are talking about low carbon treatment now. We are talking about fossil photosynthetic microbial system, which is very important in all technologies that we are going to develop. The other issues which is also important is the governance and policy. I have to be closer. Yeah? Uh, this is not well defined, and many people will not be able to understand this because they have not involved in policy formulation. So, alhamdulillah, in my career, I have done that uh, as National Environmental Quality Council Chair. Uh, I'm working on this, and my main issues normally is value creation. What is the value we can develop from that? Therefore, this lecture is about value creation. Uh, okay, this is R&D in wastewater that I think important. Uh, many people... Um, looking into, into this framework at the moment because this is the easiest way to understand the areas that are growing. Uh, say, for example, when you talk about collection system in wastewater, uh, we can look into them in, from process point of view. In the past, the collection system of wastewater is mainly for conveying or transporting wastewater from point A to point B. But with latest understanding on processes, we can 
design our wastewater treatment sewer line, the piping collection system, as a treatment processes. So this is revolutionary ideas because in Malaysia and many countries as well, we spend 70% of investment in wastewater on the piping system.